Hello, I'm Robin Worley. Welcome to Lenscraft. Today we're going to take a look at camera profiles and we're specifically going to look at camera profiles in Lightroom. You can see at the moment that I'm in Lightroom and I'm in the develop module and we have an image on screen that was shot recently with a Fuji X-T2 camera. If you look over on the right side you will find the settings and the controls we can use and right down at the bottom here we've got the camera calibration tab. Here I have a profile of Adobe Standard. Now all raw images that you work on in Lightroom are supported by the Adobe Standard profile but with some cameras the camera manufacturers also provide their own profiles and in the case of Fuji, Fuji have some well-known film simulations that, um, to be honest, produce absolutely excellent results. So let's take a look at the Provia standard profile and what it does to this image. So immediately you can see an increase in contrast. You can see the colours have become more saturated and vibrant. If we change that now to the Astia Soft, we can see again that the colours still have a nice soft tone to them but are even, even more vivid. If we now change that to the Velvia you can see that the colours really punch up in this image. And that's great um, if you've got a Fuji. If you don't have a Fuji though what you might find is that you also have other types of profile available to you here other than the Adobe standard and it's well worth exploring these. Now what I want to show you next is a very unusual case which is this. Now this was shot with an infrared camera and it's actually an Olympus infrared camera. Um, what you see is a red image on screen and the white balance for this just isn't being read correctly by the Fuji software and it's a fault that you find or a feature I should say that you find with Adobe and any RAW files that are shot in infrared. The white balance adjustment just isn't capable of coping with these. Now you can get around this but you need to install a special profile that takes account of the white balance. So the image itself was shot with a camera that has a special infrared white balance but despite this the software still can't read it. If we look in the Adobe Standard option you can see that there are other profiles provided for the Olympus camera but none of them seem to match what we need. If we change the setting here, the white balance, to Auto we get a very strange result as we do if we try Daylight. So as shot where I had a special white balance set in the camera seems to be the best. Now, if you have access to the website, uh, my web website, Lenscraft, and you are a member of Lenscraft, you will find in the members area some camera profiles that you can download. Now, you will need to be using the same profile or the same camera as the profile here. So if you have an infrared EM5 camera, you can download a new profile for use with that camera. So if I copy this profile that I've just downloaded, now I can now install it into my Lightroom camera profile directory. To find that you need to go into the finder and you will go to the library. Now the way to get into the library is to hold down the option key on your keyboard and select library. From there you can go into application support and from there Adobe and from there camera raw. And here you've got an option camera profiles and that's where we now paste 
our Olympus infrared profile. Now that won't work immediately in Lightroom. I need to restart Lightroom first. So we'll just do a quick restart on Lightroom. Now when I open Lightroom this time, we should be able to see the camera profile. If we scroll right down to the bottom now, and we look, we've now got Olympus EM5. And you can see immediately that the white balance now works. If I select the colour picker and do a white balance on one of these leaves that should be white, you now see that the white balance isn't red or orange anymore, but it's actually blue and neutral. This is exactly what you would need if you were going to process this image in infrared. So that's how to install a new camera profile in the Mac operating system. And you will find camera profiles all over the internet if you look hard enough. On Lenscraft I've actually provided a number of camera profiles for different cameras that I've owned over the years. If you own one of these cameras, you can download these profiles and install them. They'll give you a much more true colour balance than the Adobe uh, standard profiles. In a moment, we'll take a look at how to do this in a Windows operating system as well. OK, let's take a look now at Windows. And here we are in the Lightroom version um, in Windows. And at the moment I've got an image up which was shot on a Sony RX10 and it's been edited using the Adobe Standard Profile. And again we've got the different profiles that are provided by Sony. Various things, various special effects and we've got a Sony RX10 profile which I created myself and you can download from the Lenscraft website and that gives me the colour rendition that I'm really looking for. Now if you want to install the profiles in a Windows environment you need to use the File Explorer and in the File Explorer you need to find your C drive where or your home drive where the application is normally installed as default. And if you go into the users directory and then your username, and in here you will find the app data folder. Now at the moment you can't see the app folder data and that's because sometimes, as in this case, it's a hidden file. So if we select the hidden items, so that's view and hidden items, we can now see app data. And in here, we've got a roaming folder, an Adobe folder, and then in here, we've got the camera raw folder. And in there, we've got the camera profiles again. And here you can see all the bespoke profiles that have been created and installed in these folders. So it's very simple to actually just copy and install your profile to this folder, restart Lightroom, and you will have access then to color profiles over here on the camera calibration tab.